Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today, we're driving John Ruda's W900. This is the Highway Killer. It is a payware truck. I'll have it linked in the description below. You go to his Facebook page and you send him a DM if you are interested in this truck. It is absolutely amazing. The trailer we're using today is a payware trailer as well. This is by Bart Modding. I will have it linked in the description below. You can check out the website and purchase it from there if you so wish to do so. And here we are in Cedar City. We're going to be picking up pods and we're going to be taking those over uh, actually north up to Vernal. So let's go ahead and fire the truck up. Got a great sound to it. We just filled it up with a bunch of gas, well, diesel, fuel, whatever you want to call it. And we are ready to rock and roll on out of here. I look around freely with track IR. That is how I'm doing this. If you're interested in that, all the links are in the description below. You might have to copy and paste them depending on your browser for them to work. The URLs, make a left turn out of here, watching for trucks in the meantime. I got a load of lights on this truck and the trailer, and I'll go to the outside view and let you check it out a little bit more here. We'll turn on our main lights for now so you can check them out. Look at how beautiful this truck is, man. And the trailer. The trailer's got all the lights down the side of it there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Let's find a new yeah, route. you can find a new route. I don't care. But I'm so happy to have the W900 in America Truck Sim 140 now. It is one of my favorite trucks for sure. Besides, like, you know, I've already talked about my favorite truck of all times, the Peterbilt 379. I love all sorts of trucks. But this one is absolutely beautiful. And the trailer just does it so much justice all right let's get through our gears we are floating gears if you want to know everything i use of course it is in the description below i did add something to my asp heavy hauler we're going to park a little bit back here on this one so i can see the green light that works for me and that was i got on amazon some woody's beer built extenders and that is so much easier i don't have to look over at my panel to hit the jake brake or the high beams i can now just feel it out and then i put extender extensions on the bottom ones as well good to be back in american truck sim i know you have missed it i have missed it greatly we have green but uh that's still red for us it's only for the right side we're waiting for our little arrow here i have missed it greatly and i know i've been busy with some other stuff and i took a couple days off over the weekend but we have a lot to go over and talk about so there's our green arrow right there so I might be a little rusty on getting all my shifts done, but we are indeed floating our gears. And I think that lane might, this lane might end. We'll find out here in a minute. I don't need those lights on for now. We'll just keep them off. There we go. And depending on what happens when we get to our destination, if it's gonna be in the evening time, we have a cool red light that's in the interior here. I think we're going straight ahead, yes. We are. I don't think this lane ends anytime soon, so I think we're okay where we're at for now. So that's good, but yeah. See, I can just use my Jake whenever I want to right there. All right. What an exciting time we have ahead of ourselves in America Truck Sim. We got Wyoming coming out soon. We've got the new DLC that was just dropped. It is a free DLC, and it is the Goodyear Tires Pack which is awesome. I'm no longer using any of those mods for real tires mod anymore because I don't need to. I use a lot of payware trailers and trucks, so I have a, have those already as it is. But now with the Goodyear DLC, it's amazing. Like I, I'm just, I'm happy that we have that now and an actual name brand. And you can also get new accessories for the interior of a truck and stuff if you'd like. If you wanna check out, I will be posting a bunch of videos on my Fabian Live channel, my second channel. I'll have it linked in the description below as well. And you can check out the build and drive of this truck that I'm doing today, if you want to watch that whole thing. Now, I know I can skip gears and all that. I just love listening to this engine. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope you had a great week. I had a great weekend, great week, everything. It's just been good times. All around good times. Went to the Bay Area Renfest, which is here in Tampa. Well, it's in Dade City, Florida, actually. That's what we did over the weekend, and that was a ton of fun. Actually, on Saturday, 
Bugs came over and he brought his uh, puppy dog with him. And we had a puppy play date and pool day and I smoked a bunch of chicken. Smoked a bunch of chicken. It was good. Good stuff, man. But nothing but happy times. That's for certain. Ooh, all right, we got the green light there. Let's go ahead and skip this one all the way. All the way down into six low. There we go. I just have to wait for it to drop further whenever I skip gears. I think we are turning up here, so I'm not going to get too crazy. Yep. Oh, right here is where it's at. Okay. I was watching the GPS. Oops. We're pulling into this farm, it looks like. I wasn't expecting picking up, you know, pods at a farm, but that's okay. We'll do that. Speaking of farms, how cool. Farming Sim 22, we know that's coming out. We've talked about it a little bit. And I've got to say, with the new screenshots they released, I'm actually pretty excited for it. It looks like they have done something totally different with the lighting. I do have a motion platform. That's why I'm getting, you know, thrown about in my chair here. <laughs> All right, we are almost to the pickup point, and we're picking these pods up. Maybe that you know, maybe they're moving to a different farm. You excited to be moving today? Uh, maybe they're moving out. I don't know. Maybe there was a family kerfuffle. You 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 really have no clue. Man, that is a bumpy bumpy road. I'm gonna go to the left here. I did get some VR time in over the weekend in America Truck Sim with 140. I had to bring my scaling all the way down to 75% for it to work. Are we gonna make that turn? Yep, just barely. That's, it's a long trailer, but it's got that split axle and it's got a pretty big toolbox between it. So that is the reason why we're gonna have to really swing for these trailers. Yeah, safe and sound, like she said. All right, let's talk to them. Let's find out where their pods are located and we'll get them moved. So when you get Bart's trailer, you do get all of these different icons here in different loads. It is pretty, act it's pretty amazing actually what you get with a Payware trailer like this. So it was worth it to me, in my opinion. We're taking these right here, 18,627 pounds to the home store up there in Vernal. All right, the pods are up here on the left, they told us. We should be able to see them. There they are over there. Well, where we're gonna be picking up is right next to those so right there where that truck is it looks like okay we can do that plenty of room here not a big deal just gonna go to the right here and then to the left and then we'll just finagle our way back to that spot nothing too insane here all right is that a good setup there that should be pretty decent actually let's watch using our track ir to Help us look around here real nice and easy. Watch over there on the right side. We're good. Now we can keep on coming back with it there. We're in a pretty good spot now. Should be. Uh, might pull up a little bit to the right here. Just to make sure we're in a good spot. There we go. And then we can go on back with the trailer. Wonderful. Looking around that pipe is a little more difficult than you would think. Let's kind of straighten it out a little bit here and then we'll crank it again I can see my line back there so I'm not using a Nvidia overlay anymore in the game since uh, 140 had their recent updates come out I've been pretty happy with the graphics and the lighting I screwed that up a little bit here that's all right let's get this trailer all the way to the right a little bit more that might make things a little easier on all of us so I'm pretty happy with the lighting and the look of the game, so I did not need to change that out by any means. Okay, this way. Barely see back there. That's still something that uh, they have not completely fixed in this sim, is the ability to change our FOV in the mirrors. That's, that's something we need, SES. I would absolutely love it if they gave us the ability to do that. All right, now we'll roll on back with it. Ooh, I overcorrected there. This trailer does catch you out a little bit. It's 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 got some challenge to it, that's for certain. So I've I've had to do a lot of pull-ups with this trailer. That I can tell you. I think we nailed it right there. That's where we need to be. Cool. All right, keep on coming back, and we'll just wait for our green on that guy. 
Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Now, John Root is working on a new truck right now. He's got a cab over coming out soon. All right. We'll just wait for the green, and we'll pick up these pods, and we can get out of here at a decent time, I think. There we go. Awesome. Pull that one there. We're going to kill the engine, and let's load them up. All right. It's pre-trip time. Let's do it. We've got all these lights in the front here. Make sure they're all working. And they are indeed. Look at the LED lights. Look at the work done on this. Mr. Ruta, absolutely gorgeous with the LED lights there. And then all up here, that'll looks good. Everything's there. It is the correct color, not cracked or broken or anything there. And in the back, we got the red lollipop lights looking great. And down at the bottom as well. We have orange ones, but uh, nothing happening back there too much. And then we've got our airlines hooked up here as they should be to the trailer. Trailer looks awesome. All the lights back here are the correct color and they're working in order. They're not uh, cracked or broken up there at the top. That is our reverse light, believe it or not. And it's amazing at night. Uh, you're gonna get some drop of frames. So you'll notice if I get up next to all these lights, it drops my frames. But if you back off, it won't hurt your frames at all. It's just kind of an LOD kind of thing. So we're just kind of walking around here. All the lights there look good all the way back here. Lights are looking good. Not cracked or broken. They are the correct color. Pods are all strapped down, looking wonderful. Tires are excellent condition. Toolboxes are closed. Yeah, we're getting those frame drops. That's okay. Straps are good on this side. Let's move up this way. And blankets and all that are in the front. Landing gear's up. We're going to double check underneath here, make sure that's all good to go. Locking jaw's good. Yep, everything's good there. Moving back to the front here, get our frames back. And all the lights on the right side. Antennas are good. And the truck is ready to go. Parking brake comes in. We can turn our flashers off here. And we're ready to rock and roll on out of here and get to Vernal. So I'm not sure how much highway driving we're going to have, but we might have some actual back road driving here today. Let's turn our lights off. Don't need all those on. It is during the day. And we are going to be going out the same way we came in. I think we're just going to hop on the highway that's right over there on our left where those, yeah, where that bus is and go out that way. I plan on doing a fern bus video soon. I'm going to get back into fern bus, but I want to drive that Mercedes Benz Sprinter that was released for that. That looks like a lot of fun to do. All right, pods. Oh, yeah. Make a right turn out of here. Same way we came in. So we went to the Ren Fair. That was a lot of fun. We did the pub crawl there. It's like 25 bucks, and then you follow a big group of people. You get a mug and all that stuff. And you get drinks at the little bars along the way. That was pretty neat. And they had a mud show at the end. Saw some jousting. They don't actually joust each other. <laughs> They uh, are jousting for rings, which I thought was pretty cool. If you're big into Ren Fairs, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear your stories. It was a good time. All right, left turn, and then, yep, same way we came in. Awesome. That'll work for me. The NASCAR Next Gen was announced. Actually, it was last Wednesday, and I'm very excited for it. I know some people didn't like it. They were upset about it. I knew the older NASCAR crowd probably would be upset about it because, you know, it's change, and they don't like change. Me, personally, I'm excited for what it brings. I think it's going to be awesome, actually. The cars are badass. They were released for iRacing, so I started racing them in iRacing. And I think we need some more data to get there along the way for the iRacing cars to be more accurate, but they're a blast to drive as it is. Very simple to drive and practice, but when you're in traffic, oh man, those things are a handful, especially if somebody like right on your bumper. Get through our gears here. I think we're going left, so I'm just gonna stay in the left lane for now. Get these pods where they need to go. There's all the school buses over there on the right. We go school bus yard. Yep. Yep, we are like making a left. So wait. And what a beautiful day here. Absolutely gorgeous in Utah. Except for these cars here. 
So I'd, I'd be interested to know what you think of the NASCAR Next Gen car. The single lug nut, the alloy wheels, independent rear suspension. Sequential shifter with five gears now, not four on an H pattern anymore. Very interesting and different. But to me, the body looks like a like a white body kit. Let's roll our windows up here as we're getting on the highway. Maybe a little less obnoxiously loud here. The uh, the body kit is it looks like you got a white body kit on like an actual Mustang. And that's the thing about the cars, they look like the production cars. They're symmetrical bodies. They look really, really, really good. All right, swing low, swing chariot. Swing around for that thing to get on. There we go. Now we're in our on-ramp section here, and it's a short on-ramp, so I give her hell and I drive on the shoulder if I have to, to mimic a actual one. Oh, looks like we actually had it open. There's a car there, but we're okay. Nice. Speed limit 80. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Let me give me a screenshot and I'll be right back. And we are back. Had a bunch of traffic here ruining my shots. So I had to wait for them to kind of get around. We have this lane probably ending. It looks like I'm not sure. We're in a construction area here. 55 through here, but they didn't tell us what lane they were ending. So maybe not. Maybe it's just here. Although I wouldn't be surprised if we get slamming brakes here in a minute. No, we're good. All right, back into our gears then. Let's watch our speed. They just want us at 55 through here, so that works out for me. Not bad at all. Ooh, that tree is broken down right there. End of road work. You got it. We're gonna probably get to do a little bit of Jake brake action here in a minute. If we do, I'll roll my windows down so we can listen to how beautiful it is. How beautiful it sounds. There's our speed climbing up now. We can do 80 through here, but here I'll roll my windows down just a little bit here. Sorry, I'm in and out of my lane there. Doing all this at once, so it's still going down, okay. Here we go, listen to this. Oh, we have a underpass here too. Ah, I didn't hear very much there. I think the Jakes are all the way up too. I want to say that that is the case. All right, we got something up here, state law, blah, blah, blah. It's the law. Okay. I'm trying to get it up to speed here and have a light Jake turned down. There it is right here. That's on the lightest setting, and then loud, and then level one again. That's where I wanted at, right there. Sweet. Well, you got to hear it a little bit. Historic Cove. Was that Cove Fort? I think so. Turn off our Jake. That helps a lot in VR, too, having those extensions. But yeah, if you go on Amazon, you get these Peterbilt extension pieces. You're going to have to have like a really good Allen wrench. I don't know what these people are doing here, but they're scaring me a little bit. You have to have a good Allen wrench set up because I did not have the correct one for it. It's a small, small Allen wrench that you use. So keep that in mind. Buddy, I'm coming back over. I know you want to speed up once, you know, I've passed you, but it's all good. All right, let's try to relax and focus on the road ahead. That's all I want to do here. Get these pods where they need to go safely. These drives are always a blur sometimes when you have everything going on at once, you know? But yeah, I don't have any, uh, I didn't add any saturation or anything. My face and everything is, uh, tan. Because I was in the sun all weekend long. Got a lot of sun. Which is funny. I don't know, uh, talked about that in the Motovlog stuff. Which is funny to me because what I'm talking about is hair. I, I don't know why people have this obsession with hair so much. 
It's like if you don't have the ability to grow it or if you shaved it, I, it's just, I don't know where this is coming from, but ever since I did a, a face cam, it's just been nonstop with that. So I do have the ability to grow hair. Actually, you know, right before I moved over here to my new house, I had grown it all the way out. All the way out. Um, we're good here. Before I moved to Tampa. When I was in Orlando, I, I had long hair for a long time. But I live in Tampa and it's summer. I, I don't need to have hair on my head. I don't want to have hair on my head. So I don't know where the, the hate comes from with all that, but man, people are just... I've never cared that much about hair. I guess it's just a, it, it's a thing that I don't understand, I guess. I don't, I don't. So I'll bring you up to speed on everything. The Indie, so you know, I put that video out about going to go fly a real jet and the Indiegogo campaign did not succeed, but that everybody's been sending me messages about that. Oh, what a shame it's been, you know, it failed, it flopped, it wasn't this, it wasn't that. They're still doing it. They're just gonna have to do a different, you know, option other than that. So we also had haters that were like, you know, they're keeping money, that's, they're doing this and this. Everybody's gonna say that every single time you do anything. <laughs> but that isn't the case. Anybody that had pledged over $100 on that Indiegogo campaign, they got their money back. And then anybody underneath there, they were given the uh, option. Basically it was, you know, the whole thing was gonna have 5% going to Folds of Honor. So they ended up sending that money to the Folds of Honor, which is gonna be equivalent to, let me get over in this lane, to two scholarships, just shy of two scholarships. So bravo, if you guys helped out with the Indiegogo campaign, I do appreciate that big time. They're talking with the investors now about getting everything they need to for the episode. So the pilot episode. So it doesn't mean it's not happening, it's just everything's been pushed back. Because with the Indiegogo campaign, if it was good, and it was successful, they would have started their flight training this month, and then we were gonna go shoot in June. So now everything's been pushed back, so I'm not sure what to expect with that. But I will let you know. The more I know, I will certainly tell y'all about it. It's been a pretty pleasant drive other than the back and forth on the wheel here with all the traffic doing the stupid stuff. They still haven't fixed that. We still have terrible, terrible Merging. All right, let's turn our Jake up here. We're gonna need it here for this hill, I have a feeling. Now ah, we're doing all right. Doing A-OK. -okay. I had to turn my mirror quality down too for VR. I don't think I turned that back up. So that's the reason why everything's kind of pixely in the mirrors. That would be why. Don't text and drive. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> as far as the Outlaw Trucker series goes, I might do one more. I don't know. There wasn't that much of a... I was, you know, trying to appease to a different crowd with my America Truck Sim videos. And nobody really seemed to care about that. So I stopped doing them because the people that are here want to watch us drive normally and, you know... Be a little bit more legit about how we drive. And then exit right. Yep, we're exiting to the right. Exit right. Exiting right. Rolling our windows down here so we can listen to it a little bit. I think we made it here actually. Already? Told you. These are like blurs, man. Absolute blurs. But yeah, my ASP heavy hauler, I love having these extensions on there. It helps with VR, helps with normal gameplay, all that. Can't even be upset about it. Nobody coming. We're gonna get in this left lane here, since that is the case. Is that a fountain down there? Yeah, it is, look at that fountain. Nice. Very cool indeed. Yeah, now we go north on this road. We're not in Vernal now, I don't think. It's either Vernal or Vernal, I, I don't know. Any, any way I'm saying it, it's going to be the wrong way. Waffletopia. That place sounds amazing, man. I want to go to Waffletopia. You guys want waffles? I don't know why that sounds so damn good, but it does. 
Sounds fantastic. Yeah, we'll have to wait for this to turn green. I'm, that's the thing. I don't, I don't put those crazy windshields on the trucks because you already have limited visibility as it is. I, I mean, I could move my seat forward and down. But you really can't see anything when you put a custom one on it. Actually, we'll know when it's green anyway, so that's okay. Yep, sun's starting to go down. Should probably turn my lights on here. Missed that shift. Missed that one a little bit there. I like whenever we get uh, transmissions that don't have that horrible grinding sound. So you can float gears a little bit more confidently. Uh, another light, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Oh, it's green. We might be okay here. Pepsi, what are you doing? Dude was flying up in there, wasn't he? I don't know what this truck's doing. But I don't like it. Certainly don't like it. Come on, dude. Get going. What is he doing? He's like hitting the brakes over and over again. Oh, he's giving room for that truck. I see. All right. Well, I guess that's okay then. Let a fellow trucker over. Why not? Keep my distance, right. though. I don't trust him. Got windmills up here on the right looking beautiful. Costco. Ooh, I got that shift pretty decently there. That's one hell of a valley right there with that train tracks there. Okay. So I caught you up on all that stuff. So yeah, I do know about the NASCAR next gen. I've talked about track car, right? <laughs> Number one thing I get asked every video is how I look freely around and it's track IR version five. Track IR, track IR, track IR. How I look around, well, I already screwed that up. I didn't tell people how to get out of the truck per se. You gotta have your console enabled and, well, it's too late now. They won't even get to this part of the video, so it doesn't matter. Does not matter anyway. Let's downshift into six. I'm gonna use six high right here for this part. It's working better. I thought I had my lights on, I guess not. Now they're on. right hand lane here those lights might be killing my frame rate I'm not sure that might be I might have to turn those down a little bit I don't recall it doing that whenever I streamed it but it definitely feels like there is a difference in, in frame rate with the lights on compared to off oh yeah there's a huge difference there look at that okay well I'll have to change that out There's always a sacrifice when you add a bunch of lights to your truck. It's the trailer doing it, I know. Because the truck doesn't do that whenever you don't have a trailer on it. All right, we'll turn our Jake brake on. We'll turn it down low. we we'll just use it whenever we need to. That works for me. Ooh, going down the summits. This will be fun. Let's roll our windows down here. Oh yeah. Change the level of our Jake as we need to. Not using any brakes going down it. It's the best part about having a working engine brake that's not overpowered is you can manage it a lot better. All right. 45 through here. No brakes, just using our Jake. <laughs> Actually, it was a little too much there. Should have kept it on medium, possibly. That might have helped us out. Keep left and turn left. Keep left and turn left. All right. Got it. Our 
left turn here. Hear a train down there. See, that was on the lowest setting there in four low. See how fast we lose speed? Eh, it's not got, it doesn't have a very realistic one with that, unfortunately. And that's all right. We don't need to get down there in a hurry anyway, because that was already having a train cross down here. 20 through here, Price River. Beautiful spot here, absolutely beautiful. Trucks crossing, yep, that's true. <laughs> We're crossing. I'm gonna go into fifth here. That works for me. It's been beautiful down here in Florida. Right around 20 here, Jeff. About around 90 degrees, 85 to 90 degrees is what it's been pretty much the whole time, which is funny because up north it's been cold and rainy in some spots. Yep, you can see I have the light on here, so if I turn it off, you see how the red goes away? That's probably another thing that eats up my frame rate is that red light. Yeah, a little bit. But it's nice to have, and then I and that uh, comes on with the beacon, and then our red underglow comes on on the entire truck. I'll show you what that looks like in the outside view here. You can see our red underglow. Try not to run off the side of the road here, but that's what it looks like. Pretty darn cool, right? Oh, he was like jaking down that hill. That was cool. Now on this truck, the only thing that needs to be fixed is those lollipop lights. They're a little too much there on the front, if you ask me. But the red underglow looks cool, and it's attached to the beacon as well. Up through our gears. Now we're doing some evening mountain driving. Oop, missed that one big time. Whoopsies. See how much light that trailer puts out on the ground there. <laughs> Keep it around seven high. I know we're gonna need a Jake here down this hill. It's doing a pretty decent job, but even on the on the lowest setting of the Jake brake, it's just too much. The tool much, if you ask me. Got high beams when we need them. Well, those aren't even working. That's good. Double check that. See the reason why those aren't working. I'm not sure myself. 65 through here, man. I mean, you're asking for it. Asking to get killed. All right, I'll roll my window back up here. Is our Jake there in the corners? Watching those mirrors, make sure we're staying in our lane. Yeah, I, did. I thought we would make it here before the evening time, but we got to be getting close now. Really crank that up there. That'll help us slow down. I'm sure the town hates the fact that we're using our jig brake, so I'm not going to do that while we're in the city limits here. We have a turn coming up to the right. That's why I have my blinker on. I just thought it was coming up a little earlier than that. That's all. <laughs> It is Wednesday, so I have recording with the boys tonight. Turn right. 5PD, and then I'm sure we're going to do, I'm positive we're going to end up doing the new update for Wreckfest, I would imagine. If we don't, then I will definitely be doing that soon. I have a snow, I have a sponsor, SnowRunner, coming up this week as well, which is cool. I love whenever they get a hold of me and say, hey, you want to do a sponsored video? I'm like, yeah, I already do a SnowRunner, so why not? Not a problem at all, if you ask me. You can go to the outside view. We're waiting for our green light here. You can see the lights all at night. Just looks so, so good with this truck. It really does. You hear that truck back there, man. He's making a lot of noise. Let me turn
turn off of Center Street here. Hard to shift from here in the outside view. All right, get back into our gears here the correct way. Let's try to drop that down to sixth. There we go. Still have a little bit of a sound to it, but that's okay. I'm getting used to it. Historical marker. Well, we don't have time for that. We're driving into the night now. We are indeed. I wish my high beams were working. I don't know why they're not working. Like that switch isn't working at all. Hmm. Might have to double check my settings on that. Could be as simple as that. I'm being careful. I can't see a damn thing out here and it's saying 45 and we had a turn coming up here. I'm sure they expect the delivery soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're pods. I know they're super, super excited to move into the new place. I get it. We're trying to get there. Want the Fanta. Do you want the Fanta? I haven't seen commercials in so long. Like everything now, like, you know, with on demand streaming of all the different services and stuff, you don't have to watch ads anymore unless you watch here on YouTube, and I really appreciate those of you that do that. And if you don't want to watch ads on YouTube, you can always get YouTube Premium, which is fantastic. I have it myself. It does help out creators. So if you're worried about ad revenue and all that stuff, it's like we, we still get our, uh, our cut from the YouTube Premium side of things. They do take care of you there. We have a sharp curve to the right, but we're holding traffic up here, I know. I'm just being careful, you know? I don't want to mess these people's stuff up and their pods. That would be terrible. Man, the lighting in 140 at night is so realistic. It's crazy. I do have that mod that gives us the further throw for the headlights because they are too dim by default in my opinion for videos I mean realistically yeah they're there but it's that one big time the light on the Jake on that one well, I guess that didn't need that much that's the problem with these uh, default style transmissions in the game it's just they your Jake brake just drops like a rock. Even on the lowest setting. It's hard to get the truck to do what you want it to do. You know? Nobody's trying to pass us. We're good. Oh, now my Jake's not working. Okay. Something's happened here. Possibly with the extensions. It doesn't like. I have to reset them, I guess, on there. A little tighter. Maybe they got loose and they're not grabbing the switch. That's always a possibility. Yeah, that's not working at all anymore. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, this is the first time I've like put it through the paces besides in VR. So I would wait until I tell you that it's worth getting some of those because as of now, I don't know about that. Let's stay back here just so I can see the green light whenever it comes on. Just tell by the traffic too. Another cop. I'm not using any traffic mods anymore. I'm just using the G traffic setting of three. And the population, like, is not very realistic. It always puts these cop cars nonstop. I don't know why it does that, but it does. The dinosaur. Something river. Well, what a shame that these aren't working anymore. I could feel that. I could feel it working, but it's not. Hmm. Very strange. Thought I found a solution to the problem, and I think we made things worse. For now, it's straight ahead, so we're gonna continue this way. Man, that's the thing, though. You get like a shorter run that you think's gonna be a shorter run, and it's not. Because of the 
map being resized. But we made it here. 55 through here. We haven't come close to that. A lot of these roads, you can't get up to those speed limits on. Not with a big rig like this. It's not going to happen. All right, let's slow down here. Use our gears to help us slow. We're dropping the home store up here on the right. Which, that sucks. I wish we were dropping at like a residential space. That'd be pretty cool. But... You get what you get with the prefabs. Yep, I'll go straight on. I think I can see it from here. Yeah, that was the home store over there, just to the right there in between. Right, right there. Ain't right. okay, no traffic coming. I'm gonna go ahead and straddle my lanes so I can make this right. turn with my trailer. No problem. We have made it. And then we go straight back Actually, this is going to be the difficult one, isn't it? I think we have to back this thing all the way around the corner. And they give you, like, no room. Pretty certain that's what's happening here. You have arrived at your destination. Your yeah. Is now I know. I don't think they give you any room to back. I could be wrong. We'll find out here in a second, won't we? At least my flashers still work. <laughs> Of all things. Well, there's a trailer there, so there might be some room here. We go up to the left here and then back it in? I don't know. I don't think so. Gamescenarios.com I don't know where that came from. Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Might be able to do something here if I back in and then turn to the right and then back it all the way around. We're going to have to do that. I wonder if I have enough room to do that. Should. Because we can't enter from that way. It just can't be done that way. So let's go roll our window down here. Figure out our game plan. I think that's going to be it though. We're going to have to do that and then yeah, and they angle it all the way back around. So let's try to get this where we can turn around in here. It's going to be close, regardless. Watching the trailer there. There we go. Let's we'll see it over there. All right, it's looking going back. Just wanted to get a tour we can get our nose to the right here. I can see it back there. It's all right. Swing it this way. Got to be getting close now. Yep. We're okay there. It's going to be really tight to do this. I don't think there's enough room to do this here. I really don't. Let's so get this trailer to turn a little bit more that way. You see that backlight turn on, man. It's bright as hell. Okay, this way. I don't think there's enough room here. I really don't. This is like one of the worst. I, I, this is one of the worst drops, too. I think I can probably finagle our way around now. To the right, there's enough room there that we won't jackknife it, you know. All right, here, swing it around. Yeah, I think this is how we do it right here. If we have enough room, it's not gonna jackknife. We just gotta pull the trailer back to the right here. And Austin powers this thing all the way through. Ooh, what a fun drop. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Right there. Sweet. That actually worked out pretty darn good. So now we have to get this thing to start turning that way around the corner. This is all. Easier said than done, that I can tell you. Get like an angle here, straighten it out. Watch the right side, don't hit any bricks or anything stupid. Let it keep on coming back. 
A little bit more than that. There we go. And follow it through. I want to hit that trailer back here. Uh, we might hit that trailer if I keep going that way. Let's pull up to the right here and to the left. Get more of an angle on this. Not an easy drop. That I can tell you. Because I know it'll happen. If we go all the way back there, we're just going to be in, in bad trouble. We'll never be able to turn around back there. I speak from experience of doing this so many times. Here we go. Let's keep on coming back till we get around this crap here. And then we'll have this where I want to go. There we go. What a drop, man. You have to get around this garbage here so we can get this. There we go. Like that. All the way this way now. Gonna be messed up. I know. It's. Dude, this is just such a joke of a drop sometimes. Depends on what dock they give you. Some of the docks in here aren't too bad. You can get it turned around at, you know. But a lot of them you can't. There you go. Yeah, this thing is just not wanting to cooperate. This will go that way, which is fine. We have room to fix it. I'm not going to hit the curb or anything. No need to do any of that. Especially with the front end of our truck we have here. That'd be a bad idea. All right, now we start getting to go this way. We have to back it all the way around, all the, way around the whole building now. That's what we have to do. There we go. Let it keep coming that way. The whole trailer. Oh, man, we did it. I can't believe we cleared that, but we did. All right, looking good now. It's all the way around to the back now. Keep an eye on the right side, looking good. Now we can get this thing going where we want it to go. It's all about patience, man. A lot of these drops are just patience. If you get too impatient and you don't want to wait around, you know, taking it easy, doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that, Austin Powers style, <laughs> then it's not for you. All right, we'll start turning the trailer now. I have no idea which dock they want it in. We should probably get out and we'll go check out the dock where they want it to go. I'm gonna keep it going around this corner here because I think that's where it's going. see the white line in a minute. Ooh, man, yeah. We have to go all the way around that building there where that yellow post is. I'm thinking that's what we have to do. Hold on. We're turning it too sharp. Get to the right here. Now we'll get back onto the trailer this way. And follow it back. Yeah, we have to go around that post. I forgot. This has got a tricky because there's an angled dock door right where we're at here. And if you cut too early, you're going to cut into it. This one right here. Number, yeah. Doc C. I've dropped there many times. That's what I'm talking about. You'll you'll hit that. No problem. But they have this all set up. C is actually a pretty interesting one to drop. Because you have to come all the way back here, do it like a U-turn, and then get it into that door. And it's not too easy. Considering they have no other way to get into the area that we're going here. Yep, there's a spot right there. I can see it. Sweet. Let's go ahead and go a little more to the right. Why we're dropping pods here? I, dude, I don't know. Maybe they know. Maybe it's a family friend. You know, they know somebody. And they're like, hey, yeah, you can drop it off at the store and we'll get it to you whenever. I'm going to go with that. That's my story. To try to put a little bit of realism to this thing because it's kind of a mess. <laughs> A lot longer video than I was expecting out of this, but it happens whenever, you know, dealing with traffic and everything else. And it was a hell of a drive today. Good. So let it keep on coming back. We got plenty of room. This trailer with that split axle, man, you got to follow it through so easy. 
Otherwise, it starts to get way off course. So now we can let it go where it's going here. Watch that right side. We're good. More of a curve on it. There we go. Get all the way underneath it now. Because it'll take a minute for that other axle to start turning. There we go. That's pretty decent there. And we nailed that one, actually. By God, I think we nailed it. Nope. We're off by a little bit. Let's pull up to the right here. The trailer straight. There we go. Right there. That's where I needed to be. What a drop that was. Well, I like the challenge of these drops, so. I just know I'm like, dude, if I come back here, there's no room for me to turn this trailer around. This big, long trailer full of pods ain't happening, man. Beacons off, get our flashes off. Let's kill the engine. Let's, let's unload this bad boy. All right, pods, it's been fun. It's been nice. And it was late. 328 miles, 10 hours, 51 minutes, 10.7 gallons. Yeah, we got a late penalty on that because you saw how ridiculous the drop was. It was not easy by any means. Anywho, that'll do it for this episode of America Truck Sim. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.